Hi there, today I'm going to show you two different ways to easily convert a document in English into another language so that you can support your students in their native tongue. And so the first method I'm going to use is Google Translate. And so I'm at translate.google.com. And so a lot of people use this as translating text, but you can also translate documents right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I like to use this when I need to translate a PDF. So it's going to detect that the language is English. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is set to Spanish. But you can also change what you would like that to be in right here. So if I just click this down arrow, um, there's lots of different languages for me to choose from. Let's do Spanish. Now, it's not going to be entirely perfect, as some things will be translated literally instead of in a regular dialogue, a speaking dialogue. So let's go ahead and find a PDF to do. I'm going to browse my computer. And I downloaded one. OK, and now that I've chosen my article that's in a PDF form, I'm going to hit Translate. And then it's going to ask me to download that translation. And if I open that up, I'm going to see that the text should now be in Spanish. And it'll tell you that it's translated by Google right here. So I still see the pictures that were embedded in the document. Now I just have text converted which is nice. There isn't a whole lot of work to that. All right, the second method is if you have a Google Doc. Now, this is actually a Word document, so I'm going to save this as a Google Doc before I try to do anything. So if I go to File, Save as Google Doc, so now I just have this in the Google Doc version. And now, uh, if I click on Tools, I can go to Translate Document. Notice that when it was in the Word doc form, even though I open it up with Google Docs, when I go to Tools, I do not see Translate here. So this is only available when you are in a Google Doc. So it's easy to change that over. Just save it as a Google Doc first, then go to Tools then translate the document. It's actually going to create a copy of that same document, but in a different language. So I'm also going to choose Spanish again. See, there's a long list to choose from. And hit translate. And so now you can see my same document just now in Spanish. Okay, I hope you find that very useful in the classroom.